Welcome ENC 91 students. This is your professor Michael Bloomingberg. And what I wanted to do with this video is introduce you to the new project that we're starting with this week. And that project is the source paper project. And so this is a Word document where I've put the requirements. I would be more than happy to post this as well on Blackboard. I think it'd be useful for you there. But um, the source based paper project to begin it's a research-based project in the class that requires the use of a society topic, uh, primarily one that you can find in Wes Moore's The Work, along with two outside sources. And I'm going to go over in a minute what that means when I pull up a new document um, in terms of a society topic. So things to be aware of uh, for this paper, and that's what this project's about, it's culminating in a paper, but you should have no use of internet sources from Google, Bing, or other search engines. Those are not always reliable pieces of information as far as what you can find. Yeah, you might find some good info, but you're not going to find... And you know, the internet's kind of like the wild, wild west um, in terms of what you can find. There's some good, there's a lot of bad, and I'm going to show you what you do need to use, which is the next bullet point. Uh, you do use the databases, and if you're wondering what those are, I will show you in this very video. You need three sources total, because this is a source paper project. It's requiring you to find outside sources. You need three total for the paper, that is to say two outside sources. And you need to use West Wars of the Work as one of your sources as well to bring your total to three. MLA is required. That stands for Modern Language Association. We're going to be going over MLA very soon in the class. Uh, the paper itself must be at least two pages long. A works cited page must be included, but it is uh, not a part of the two-page requirement. So please keep that in mind. That's a separate part of the actual requirement. And so what I wanted to go down uh, next is go to some society if I can type, society topics. And what I'm looking for you to do is choose a topic uh, that you see presenting itself well in Westmore's The Work. And I'm just going to give you some sample topics. One of the things that jumps out to me in Westmore's The Work is education and the importance of education and how that presents itself even early in the book as we know that Westmore is a Rhodes Scholar. I can also see class structure being a relevant topic in the book because that's something that Wes Moore is very conscientious of. His class where, you know, he belongs and he's kind of balancing between being a part of this upper class but his uh, upbringing has been more lower middle class. Um, along with that we see racism. as a topic, I can't type, but racism is also another uh, topic that ex is explored as Westmore is writing from the perspective of an African American uh, man who has had these experiences in both the military and in his civilian life. Uh, war is a major uh, explore, explorative topic in the book as we learn about uh, Moore's experiences in Afghanistan. I think these kind of go hand in hand, but terrorism is something else that we find out a lot about in Wes Moore's work and how uh, the atmosphere was, especially immediately following September 11th, 2001. Um, but really, you're only limited to what you can find um, in the book. I mean, there are so many ri rich uh, themes and uh, society topics that you can explore. Uh, here's another one that just popped into my mind, the role of the U.S. in world affairs. And there's another one that you could explore. Um, so you really only, only relegate it to what you can find and explore theme-wise in the book. And you probably want to take some time to really think that over, though, as far as these types of topics are concerned and see which one really strikes your interest in moving forward. So again, picking one of, uh, you, you don't have to pick these, I just gave you some examples here, 
But these just show you the kind of things that I'm looking for as far as the topic is concerned. And again, um, keep in mind that criteria. I'm going to minimize this. And where I am now is on the Somerset Community College homepage. And I just wanted to walk you through how to find good, reliable sources for this project. And I'm going to give you the breadcrumb trail if you just want to follow along with the video. Feel free to replay this as much as you need to. But from the Somerset homepage, I'm going to click on Academics. And again, Academics is at the very top here. And uh, from there, I'm going to click on Learning Commons, which is down here in the Notebook Looking Paper link. And then in the kind of yellow text, there's a link for databases. So I'm going to click that. And you can see we have a lot of different databases here at Somerset Community. Um, and a quick note, if you're not a student at Somerset Community College, you should have a KCTCS username and password that allows you access into these databases, so your bases are covered either way you go. But since you're going to be working primarily at home on this, uh, I want to point out to you that the database we're going to use is one called Opposing Viewpoints. So it's, again, called Opposing Viewpoints. It's a little hard to see on the screen. But when I click it, because I'm working here on campus making this video, it's going to take me right into the database. But if you're working at home, as most of you will be, you're going to have to click, uh, when you click it, you're going to have to put in your KCTCS username and password. So we're going to go ahead and click it. And it'll take me into the database. And this is a treasure trove of information in terms of where you need to go to find sources, support articles, if you will, for your topics. And um, it, on the surface, it doesn't look radically different than something like um, MSN or any kind of typical site. Um, but, and let me just readjust the camera so we can get everything into focus here. For some reason, there's a picture right up here that usually pops up, but for whatever the reason may be, it's not popping up. That's not a big deal because I want to direct you to two particular areas where you can find some useful information. The first one's down here at the bottom. It's called Society and Culture. And then we also have War and Diplomacy. Either of those areas will lead you to a treasure trove of good info. But if you click on Society and Culture and just click View All, you're going to be amazed because all of these little links are topics and I can scroll all the way down to the very bottom and it's just a treasure trove of potential topics that you can look at. And again, this is the society and culture. But now if I go back and war diplomacy might be good because that is a focal point in Westmore's The Work and remembering the topic should come from Westmore's The Work. If you click a view all there it's going to be uh, quite a few, you know, fewer links, but most of them are related to either war or diplomacy. So down here, for example, where my finger is, is terrorism. If you click terrorism, they're all linked, all the topics. And it's going to give you a wonderful overview of your topic. Um, there are featured viewpoints. In this case, there are five of them. There are uh, general viewpoints, 675. And i got to stress, these are all well-documented, scholarly, published sources. Academic journals, 669. 43 statistics, 31 primary sources, including the 9-11 Commission report in this one. That's really interesting. Um, audio, 1,249 audio clips. News articles, the most recent of which was published October 26, 2015. Now, today's October 27th that I'm making the video, so that was just yesterday in the Africa News Service. And uh, also, down here at the bottom, interactive maps. Uh, there's links to very reputable websites, like the U.S. Department of Homeland Security. And there are magazine articles, um, the most recent uh, of which you'll see November 2nd, 2015. How's that possible? We're not even in that. Uh, date yet because magazines come out as you know ahead of time so you've got access to magazine articles that haven't even hit the newsstand yet so this is really cool stuff it's all linked by the way so when you're looking for articles of support 
Let's click on that magazine from November 2nd, 2015. When you click it, it's all links. There you go. There's you the actual, uh, it's not a very long article, but you get the actual excerpt from the uh, article there. Okay? But uh, you can find much longer articles. If you go back up to the top, under Viewpoints, uh, I'll just click the first one. It says Demonizing Shara Law is Counterproductive. So if you click on that, here you can see it gives you the whole entire article. And I want to put, draw your attention to you down at the bottom is the actual source citation for you to include in your Works Cited page. It's right over here. So I want you to, uh, if, if I can stress to you and go, uh, I'm going to switch gears here, I'm going to go to the discussion board. What I'm asking you to do is after you've reviewed this video and you kind of have an idea of what I'm wanting you to do, I want you to tell me what have you chosen as a topic for your source-based paper based on what you found in Wes Moore's The Work as a societal uh, topic as well as what you're finding in the database. How does the topic tie into Wes Moore's The Work and do you see any challenges that you will need to address as you begin to work on the topic? That's what I'm looking for, guys, and I think um, you might have a clearer understanding now. I hope the video's been helpful. Now, as always, if you have questions, feel free to email me. I'd be happy to address them with you. But uh, that's pretty much it. I want to wish you the best of luck. This is We're going to work on this project in steps. And so the first step is just getting your topic and starting to learn where you're going to go organizationally with it. So good luck to you. Email me with questions, and I look forward to seeing what you come up with. Take care, and bye-bye.